All right. All right. Sitting here with Tippy by my side. <laughs> Come here, baby. <laughs> and uh, and been t been reading through this stuff, the responses on on uh, on Venture Rider. There we go. About our experience with the with the. Uh, you got to. What? What's that? Mean? With the new venture. Yeah, uh, you tell them. At where? Where were we? We were at Sturgis. Yeah, yeah. we had a blast. Yep. We really, 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 really did have fun. Yep. Let me, uh, let me, uh, let me scroll this thing back here because there was a little thing on here that somebody asked a very pertinent question, and I told him that I was planning on interviewing you. All right, Edbo. Edbo wrote, what did Tip think of the ride? Was it comfortable? Did she have plenty of room? Just some thoughts from the bride's perspective, please. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, Tip, remember riding it? Well, of course I remember riding the new Yamaha. Well, we didn't get to go for a massive long ride, and it was very warm. One of the things that they advertise that I think is kind of cool is that the thing has heated seats, but, of course, we didn't want heated seats at that moment in time, so I didn't get to experience that part. But I thought the seat was comfortable. Um, I am a tall woman, at least five eight, and I thought the back, the back rest, hit me at a funny position in my back. It, that was not comfortable at all. Um, no. Now, are you um, comparing that to our, I mean, you spent thousands and thousands yes. and thousands of miles yep. and hours and hours and hours, a lot of, a lot of 16, 18 hour days mm -hmm. on our, on mm -hmm. our literally gen, yep. in the saddle riding on, our, on a, a first gen, yep. the 83s, yep. Yep. Um, yep. and you're comparing that feeling that you're talking about yeah. to our bike to yes. the to the first yes. gen. Yes. Okay. Now you've also spent some time on uh, ultra classic. You've also spent some time on uh, yeah on Larry's yeah. bike yeah. on yeah. on Larry's yeah. ultra yeah. classic yeah. limited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you also spent some time on the Roadmaster on the Indian on the Indian at mm -hmm. demo. Mm -hmm. You didn't ride with on the vent on the victories. I don't think you ever went over with us no, to demo to victory. No, I didn't go back when yeah. back when Polaris yeah. still had demo. But Polaris still has the Indian mm -hmm. their Indian their version of the Indian motorcycle. Um and you brought up how did that compare to those bike that feeling that you're talking about? Can you remember? I'm not sure I remember. Hmm. And maybe it felt very uncomfortable because it was the seat was harder. It wasn't as cushioned as our Gen One is, and maybe that's why it felt hard on my back and that it just just that it was stiff. That it was stiff, and that it also just ended abruptly in a in a way that was very uncomfortable on my back. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to ride any long distance on it. However, I don't know if they have an option to have a different seat or not in a different backrest. So that I don't know what's available. Let's see. I did notice because Sky has talked very much about the difference between being water cooled and air cooled and when I got off the motorcycle, I my leg hit touched something just right that I remember consciously thinking, "Wow, if I hadn't had my long jeans on, I would have burned my leg." Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like, "Wow." Mm -hmm. um, uh, you want oh yeah, there was plenty of room. Plenty absolutely. Of room. Yeah. Yep. There was it was floorboards instead of foot pegs, which we have foot pegs on our Gen One, so that was kind of a bit of a difference, but not anything that can't be adjusted to. Um, yeah. How about you? Kind of. 
Um, we ride our first gen mm-hmm. a lot with me stretched out, yeah. legs stretched yep. out, yep. Yep. Um, laying back with my head on your torso and leaning stuff. Leaning against me, and, yeah. And leaning yeah. against you, yeah. okay. Do you, um, was there more space between you and I? It the- seemed like there was more space, but that also would have to do with the way the the seat is because your back, the way the seat was for your back didn't give you didn't give you a an ability to even lean back against me. I mean, yeah. You know, and I wondered how that felt on you. Yeah. You know, if you See, I'm an old that. chopper rider. Mhm. And I, uh, my style of riding a touring bike long distance for hours and hours and hours, when you talk about touring, you know, well, you and I are touring riders, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. That 16, 18 hour days, 12 hour, I mean, 12 hours are, are like minimal to us because we ride sun up till sundown and then usually ride a couple, three up three, four hours into the night, uh, every night, mm-hmm. to, before we were tired enough and ready to drop the tent yep, and go to sleep, yep, yep, all right? Yep. So, um, that, the, the the chopper days kind of ruined me, or taught me, um, six bin bars, long bike, I always call them a long bike chops, you know, a 16 over front end, and the way that they sat, the way that that all of my long bikes has sat was long, stretched out, lean down, bars pulled back, that's what they call them pullbacks. And and that's something that I've always really liked about the first gens is the ability to in and down with my bars. So they're almost like pullbacks on a chopper. And that sets me up for riding Maybe like riding yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And we've rode thousands and thousands of miles mm-hmm, like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. So this whole thing was this whole thing because of that um totally different from from our ride style <laughs> for you for you too yep as it was yep, yep yep totally different from our ride style not that one way is right and one way is wrong you just have to right. find the one that right that that's, works that's that your works for style you. yep all that right works for you. all right so then um this is this is a this is going to be a youtube video so we got to kind of get with it i got to Oh, let's see here. There's another part here. I think it's on the next page. Where Ed, Ed Bo, I think it was also Edbo asked about asked some other things. Uh, another thing is: is this in any way? Am I am I holding the gun to you or or telling <laughs> you telling not. you how to answer these questions? Or of I just I just not. looked at you and said I just looked at you and said, "Come on, we're going to do an interview." Yep. Right All right. He wrote some. Some questions that would help is how hard and easy is it to get on and off of? Okay, how hard or easy is, was was the bike for you? To it get was on easy off? to get on and off. Yep. Was it yep. easier or as easy as or more easy than our first gen? No, oh, I don't remember. I'm sorry, I don't remember. It was easy to get on and off. I can't really. I don't remember thinking that. Wow, this is really hard and uncomfortable. Okay. And there was plenty of room to slide around in my seat. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Then yep. he asked, do you feel enclosed or is there ample room to slide around? There's plenty of seat? room to slide. Yep. It okay. was strange to be far away from my riding buddy. Yeah. Which he, she's that's leading, our riding she's style. leading now into the next question. Mm-hmm. How far away from you, how far away are you from your riding buddy? Mm-hmm. Okay, there you go. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that um, it's just our riding style. It seemed like I was really far away from you, but that's just our riding style, you know. And and for us, Mm -hmm. does that is that a positive or a negative? Well, that's a negative because we're just used to the other way. We're just used to the way we ride. That's all. Do you feel security? Okay. 
You know, just picture this. We've been in the saddle all day long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning back. We're watching the world go by, waving at people. Mm -hmm. You know, little kids waving at us and all that kind of (laughs) stuff. And I'm laid back and we're putting through Draper, South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Or out in Utah somewhere or whatever. And waving at little kids and stuff. Do you find a sense of security with having your back against the saddle, the backrest of the trunk, and then me practically laying down with my, you know, with me leaning against you, whole capturing you yep, yep, in the yep. moment. Yep. Do you find that offensive in yeah, your writing, yeah. or do you find that almost a sense of security? A sense of security, yeah. Yep, absolutely. So, so maybe the space that Edbo is talking about from his perspective, maybe another person riding back there would want, you know, uh, would want to have the extra room, be able to yeah, move around and have their own room. cabin, mm-hmm, so to mm-hmm, speak, mm-hmm. where you yep. are riding stuff. See, that's yep. that's something that I think is kind of a lot, and there's a lot of things on here, a lot of things in riding a motorcycle that are that way. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so don't yep. take. Our yep. word for yep. or, or, or. you just find your own way. When you get out and ride, you find your own way. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Is the seat comfortable or is it hard? The seat was comfortable. As I said, the backrest just hit my back at an awkward, awkward angle. Not, that was not unco- that was not comfortable. Okay. I wouldn't want to do any lengthy riding on it. There we go. Yep. And the, is it hard or was it was it hard? It was harder than our first gen seat, but but we weren't on it for very long. How long did our test ride last? I don't know, half an hour, twenty half an minutes. Hour, twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Day, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you really gotta like uh, we have found Harley seats and then and the Indian seats, all of them too hard mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. for any. You know, because we spent mm-hmm. some time on those, and there's something about the, our broken end first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, our butts are molded to that. Yep. <laughs> so that's what yeah. it's not very good. <laughs> this, this next one is a really good one that you can you see over your riding buddy's head, or do you have to look around him to see? That question. To answer that question, I'm really curious to see what your answer is to that one. Hmm. I don't know. Being on a motorcycle and not being in a cage, you can look and see at all kinds of things to the sides and around, and if you have to tip your head a little bit. But as I said, I am a tall person. So I also don't like to be up too high on motorcycles. I've been test driving a lot of different motorcycles that where I sit up so high and I don't like that where it's like I get real excessive with a wind whipping in my face. And I don't like that at all. So I personally I would rather be down a little bit. And you know what? If I can't see right over top of Cowpuck's head and I have to look around him, that's all right with me. I would trade that for not having so much wind blowing right in my face. <laughs> there you go. And it's just me. And you've commented before on the, like I think the first time that we rode a second gen, mm-hmm. you made a statement sitting up to me high. like, yep. it's that feeling that I've gotten with Harleys, with, with mm-hmm. test riding the Harleys at demo days at our, yep. at our local yep. Harley shop. Yep. Like I feel like I'm sitting on a post. Remember yep. you saying yep. that to me? Yep. And, um, yep. and so, you know, there's a, See, it's that back to that personal, yep, personal, the personal thing. comfort thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. All right. Yep. Uh, let me see. Can you sit back and relax? Yes. Absolutely. On the new one, you felt like you could. Well, sit back I could and sit back and relax, except I thought the backrest hit hit me in the small of my back in a weird place, and that you? was uncomfortable. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this question. Could you sit back and relax if you were with anybody but me? No. Uh-huh. Oh, she, <laughs> she trusts me. Only just she with you. She yep. trusts me. Yep. We've been through, a, we've fired a few shots out there on two wheels, you guys. 
Yes, oh, Jason, the front wheel. Mm -hmm. We've been in some situations where she's tapped me on the back and said, "Good job, buddy." <laughs> I mean, yep. Uh, on more than one occasion. Yep. And, more uh, than one occasion. Trust. <laughs> trust is something you earn, mm -hmm. especially in motorcycling, because you know you're on the back seat of a bike, right? Yep. You don't really yep. have control over. No, I don't have any control over anything. So you're really putting yeah. your trust in. Yep. Yep. All right. Did you yep. feel the heat from the engine? Big question. Not when we were riding, I did not. Well, yeah. No. But when we stopped and we got off, then I did. Then I did, as I said previously. I remember the sensation of like, whoa, that's hot. And that if I had not had my long jean, denim blue jeans on, I would have burned my legs. Yeah. All right, but now, now going down the road, when we were going down... Um, that front yeah, road going towards right Whitehead. Nope. No, I didn't feel any heat from the end at all. Or out on the highway when we nope. were coming back. Didn't, nope. Didn't feel it. Now, didn't feel now, any heat at all. Nope. And now, what a, think about this one, okay? I mean, this is a big issue because this is an air-cooled V-twin that mm -hmm. in looking at it, because only the bottom two openings of those vents on the front of that bike are, work, are functional. Mm -hmm. The rest of them are plugged off permanently plugged off you cannot open them so they all right so i'm thinking like this thing has got to get hot and yamaha did not do anything extravagant as far as and i'm talking outside of your probably line of thought but but as far as oil cooling the jugs on that bike there's no oil cooling jacket like a water cool jacket on the cylinders of a motorcycle like victory did or like polaris did with their victories um, uh, the Indians are like that. Okay. Now, all that said, how many times in our, the history of our riding together have we been caught in traffic at that A whole lot. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, at a dead end, have to yeah, sit there yeah. for a long time. Yeah, you turn the motorcycle off. <laughs> yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yep, well, we just Absolutely. Sit and wait. Mm -hmm. Even though on a, even on my water cool bike, I turned the turn the thing yep, off yep, you know it's like yep. it's pointless to sit here because we're going to be because we're yeah yeah yep. and uh and how many times have you noticed air-cooled harleys sitting on the side of the road i have yep i i have noticed i don't them. always point them out but, yeah i know but, but I you know. okay so in touring all right unlike Using a motorcycle for just kind of around town. Like if it, mm -hmm. I go riding around here, mm -hmm. I jump on my R1 and I go buzzing around here. Mm -hmm. I know where the trap, where the road repair is, and I can avoid it and all that kind of stuff. But when you're touring on a motorcycle, sometimes you get into situations where you're stuck in traffic mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. cannot. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. you. Am I am I right, Tip? You Correct. cannot. Yes. You get stuck out on 99 yeah, in California, yeah, yeah, on yeah. 80 coming in like we just did uh, mm -hmm. Donner's Pass, you know, the yeah, road constructions, yeah, yeah. all that kind of stuff. All mm -hmm. right. In those situations, uh, by the little bit that you did feel the heat when we did get stopped, they wouldn't let us sit and let the bike heat up. <laughs> they wouldn't allow us to do that. But in that, do you think that... Can you do you think that this air cool bike will be okay? I am not the mechanic, yeah. but it doesn't yeah. seem like it. Yeah. yeah, it really doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it really needs to be tested by somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to buy one of these things <laughs> and own it and actually go out and tour yeah. on it, not use it, yeah. like yep. like. To not trailer it to rallies and stuff like yep. that. Yep. Ride the thing, tour, yep. pack the thing yep. up, and go out. Go out and what do we always say? Get out and ride. Get out and ride. <laughs> That's what they need to do. Yeah. All right. Yep. So, okay. And uh, he says, thanks for the info that you will be providing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Get out and ride. Get out and ride. <laughs>